Evening all, it's the uh, Daily Warzone final, the 15th of October 2012. Um, <clears throat> 35 have so far entered, average rating 2059. Uh, prizes in this one, there's 100 prizes. To get your 1000 qubits back, you need to be in the top 34. I'll just mention it in the uh, stream room. Okay, so okay, so about one and a half minutes to go. Uh, the European Cup is on. That's quite interesting. It's got quite a few good players. I might do uh, a video or two tomorrow about that. Uh, Nakamura's in it. Ivanchuk, Morozovic. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting uh, top players there. Um, okay. So uh, one minute fifteen to go. So first place is yes. Uh, first place is five thousand cubits. Um, very hard to get first than this. It's good to get in the top ten. Okay, and uh, forty-seven, forty-five seconds now to go. Now forty-three have entered. So um, right, let's go. Let's get ready. <clears throat> 46, we're going to get 15 before the entry, 47. Actually, I've got a spare window here I should really close, just in case that's resources. And it started. A strong opponent to start off with, 22-20. I'll <clears throat> try G3, inspired by Magnus Carlsen's uh, win with uh, G3. Uh, oh, that diagonal might be a bit sensitive. I'll just go for it here. Or wait, wait a sec for knight f4. Now that's sensitive, surely. Uh, that pawn is potential liability. I hope. Um, where am I overcooking it? I could have won d5 just then. Why didn't I try and win d5 just then? Puppets. Okay, I've got, I've got everything on d5 here. One, two, three, four. I've got one, two, three defending. D5 is on pre. If d4, d4, maybe I just take. Yes, that is a safe pawn, isn't it? I hope. <laughs> Try and reinforce it. Now, okay, queen g3 might be threatened here. That pin button. Knight e7 is also okay. Try and stop b5. And maybe queen c3. You know, queen c3 is too dangerous. What if I double rooks? Now knight e7 is almost interesting. Uh, I'll put this back for a sec. Don't want to play for b4. B4, he takes on D5, then he takes on B4. Go in here. What's that? A weakness of the last move, I'm threatening Queen H8. So, what does he do? Take on D5. Interesting. Another pawn bites the dust. Now there's an exchange, thanks. Attacking the queen. Take this bishop. Looks good. Okay, I'm on the scoreboard. Hmm. Average opposition 2220. I play the 2220. Okay, a 1676. He notices I played e5, unfortunately. Otherwise, 
Knight C4 is always fun to play against. Uh, I should do thingy. Now Bishop F4 might be a tactical ability there. Uh, I take care. Okay, he's not going for the e5 pawn, but his e3 is a bit measly. I'm going to try and target that. Whoa! No way! No! No! It cannot be serious! No! <laughs> Looks pretty juicy to me. Uh, the knight on Monster Knight stops him uh, castling either side, but uh, I might want to uh, play knight g2 here, just to get on the pawn, then go back to e3. Uh, looks pretty delicious, okay. Okay, someone's had four wins already or something? <laughs> uh, can I play Nimzo Larson? Surprise weapon. Uh, symmetrical Nimzo Larson. Uh, is Bishop B5 any good? I wonder. Because Knight E5 and Queen H5 are going to be dangerous, aren't they? Queen H5 next. Oh, what's this? <laughs> That's a quick win. Okay, I'm racking them up quickly. Oh, Tezik. Oh, this great draw. Don't want to play him. Oh, we're going to play. Oh, no, we're going to draw. <clears throat> Not right now. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'm a bit chicken at the moment. You could say. 95 blunder. Hasn't gone for that. Anyway, if I've got a good score, I don't want to take too many risks necessarily. So, um, what's going on here? The queen's going to park on h3. That could be quite dangerous. What is that? Wow. Is it f6? Interesting. This is a 2 1 1 4 playing like this. Strange chess, this one. Has he fought something which. Okay, that stops rook h6. Um... Alright, so there's no uh, rook g8 at the moment. Oh! No! What have I done? <laughs> oh man, I'm, 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 this is not, not as good as before, <laughs> just losing a piece for nothing, uh oh, why not bishop g8, oh come on, come on, then there's rook f6, then queen e5 I hope, oh no, he's flicked in that, um, play this anyway, or is it too dangerous? I've lost control here and I'm down on the clock. It's not good. What about rook h5 and try and get this knight? We well, can come to d2 now. Um, queen c7 threat. I need this. Can I get a mate here? I hope so. Um, but how? I don't know. A4. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, Queen A4. Oh no, no, no. There's no checks after that. Oh, I've just gone where there's no checks. Muppets. Ah. Oh. Can I get a draw by perpetual? 
If he goes, to, maybe there's Queen A5. If he pushes it too hard. Oh, messed up that one. Big time. Didn't see a clear mate. Probably is one. Okay, it was one, rather. But uh, I was up for the chop here on H2. <laughs> Plunders. <clears throat> elephant gambit time. Try and wake up the elephant gambit. Okay. So E4 will drop. Doesn't matter. Oh, Greek gift time. Nope. No Greek gift. But he looks a bit wary about the king side. So Bishop H3. Needs to get the old quick wins. Hence this kind of style. Quite good sometimes. If I can get away with it. Can I get away with it? Knight g4, queen f4, queen h2, then what? Let's get the rook in. Okay. So the check here, then what? I wonder. What about knight g4 as an idea? Uh, maybe not. Maybe just cast thing for a sec. And come up with g5, g4. Um, the queen's on. This might not be very pleasant, actually. Um, did I need to play like this? <laughs> I wonder now. Um, I'm on d4, I'm on a2. I think d4 is better. So it takes on g5. Or... Can I just try and exchange off queens now? Would it matter? Because I got a lot of center pawns. Uh, if I play g6 and get a knight to a nice square. Um, knight e5 is dangerous, I suppose. Where, where are my knights wanting to go? I'm going to lose a few pawns here. I was going to get a knight to c5. I got eight F two on target. Okay. Ah, oh, now can I get to a nice square? E three, knight G two, knight F four, knight two, knight E three, then knight G two, then knight F four. We've a mating up with rook and knight. Will that piece down? But that's pretty good if I can get in. Okay, which I can't hold up these pawns for a sec. Ah, what about this one? Rook h2. Oh, his king's escaping. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, this ending still. I try and win one of these pawns. 13 seconds. Can I win any of these pawns? Play g4, g3. That's a bit of a squash over there. How does he get back for that pawn? Two seconds. Okay. That was not nice. I'd, I'd rather not be a piece down. Oh no! This is a danger guy. I think I've lost him before. Is he going to accept the draw? It's not. Okay. This is a danger guy. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's not pre-move it though. Uh, 
try and just get an attack going here. All right, maybe this is a good position. Do I need to be worried? It looks like a good position. In fact, DC and Queen D6 there. Um, so H4, H5, F4, Queen to H2 later. Oh, this diagonal is interesting. Oh, Bishop G5. Winning the exchange, come on, think. Bishop g5. Play anyway. Because d6. Also, now there's bishop c. Why not bishop c4? I'm refusing to win the exchange. Attracted by that center pawn. Oh, again. Alright, let's kick this guy. He wouldn't take here because of rook d8, would he? No, he's got rook f8 after. Have I got rook f1 here? Nope. It's, it sort of looks good. Um. No. Can I get a rook to the seventh? Rook f7. Isn't take almost for bishop f bishop f6 is now dangerous surely so he plays bishop g oh I can win this bishop or even worse bishop f6 oh, he's resigned okay so someone on two three four eight is is mowing the lawn here uh, <laughs> my bug can I just play a different setup than usual I don't know why Variety, I guess. But uh, all right, let's see what is White doing. Solid approach, keeping solid London system, dreaded London system. So I'll play hyper modernish. Fincetto, the Queen, and Bishop. Pressure on the diagonal. And uh, can I stretch out b5, c4, knight c5? Or this center? Uh, nope. Uh, do I get this bishop off before losing d6? Like get a knight here. Knight d7 to e5. Oh, I might need to prepare for a4 now. Can I just take that and then play a5? Just see for here. Oh, that's nice. Let's get a knight there. And a knight b2 is interesting. I think I'll prepare for e6 to try and. Oh, I stopped that. Um, isn't knight c3 on here? Forcing move. Changes the situation quite radically. Wins a rock. Okay, that rook could be handy. He's going to sack a knight now to justify the rook. Nope. Blast open the center now. Well, I've weakened my king with that. Oh, his center's collapsing. So I play e for bishop g2. Okay. Okay, so queen e4, I'm on the knight. Um, can I just safely just take that for a moment? Not be too greedy, because I, my, I guess I could have um, taken the knight. What about just c3, c2 as an easy plan? Pass pawns ready to queen here. Okay, my queen's on. If f5 knight e5, if rook g3 just c3, f5 g5, queen h5, c2, queen h6, c1. Right, do I need to do anything apart from not panic? Queen b1 is mating. Oh, come on, queen b. 
one. No, it's not. I'm starting to panic. Okay, e2 is e2 losing. I hope not. Because I'm on g1. There's no immediate check. I've only got 33 seconds. How does he defend g1? I've taken e1 queening. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so good so far. A two one seven five. Let's try this Imzo Larson attack again. Oh. Did I mean to do that? Going to pawn here. Uh, is that a good place? I don't know. What about e6? Disruptive. Um, okay. Uh, protect e3, I guess. What I've got G file to show for. Go back. Go to the G file, I think. Um, uh, okay, what's happening here is quite solid. Or have I got E5? 94 E5, it takes F4. No, there's no F4. Uh, so what happens after knight d4? What about just f4 straight away for e5? Trying to get this bishop off diagonal. f5 or e5? e5, bishop h4. Might be worth playing anyway. Because then g7, I can get my forces on g7. Okay. Um. Now what? Is it knight g5? What about e6 for bishop g7? Of course, I'm on f6. On the c3 here. Tactical move. To bear in mind. Not safety tip. Not going into a fork with a pawn. <clears throat> Panic stricken by the diagonal. I've doubled the cube, haven't I? So oh, he's resigned here. Powerful move. Power move causes resignation. Lie me. <clears throat> okay. I think French defence or even Kara Khan. Or Alvin. If it's D4. Okay. Okay, we'll go in this hack attack line. I hope it's going to be fun. Might as well protect d4 in advance. Pressure d3, knight e4. I think I'll get the king off. Diagonal for a moment. Now knight e4 looks good. But for what? Knight f2, d3. d3 straight off the bat. I what about bishop g4 here? Is that crazy? That'll strip the king a lot, and d3 is powerful, surely. Okay, so I'm on. F2 soft spot. If bishop e4, queen f2. Let's bring a rook in. <clears throat> there's a rook. Oh, there's knight g3 mate. That's a quick conclusion there. Okay. 
Okay, it's it's been fun. It's been fun so far. Who's this? A two two seven five. Danger. Danger alert. Two two seven five. Panic. No panic. <laughs> Okay, so am I winning the exchange with tanks, Bishop Seven or not? Um, let's leave him that because I don't want this pin to the rook. Is he stretching out nastily? Am I going to regret all of this pretty soon? Strengthening his grip. Oh, okay. Okay, um, I think I can get away with knight f2, king h1, 2, king h2. What about a4? Is a4 worth it? The knight goes back. Bishop g5? I don't mind taking that. Mm, could take here. Yeah. Switch to the center. I'm on e5 potentially. And f7. Um, this looks dangerous. But f6. What about rook d3 just to double rooks? Okay, that looks interesting. For rook d7. And there's knight f6. If g takes, he probably doesn't want to do that move. Knight e5. Okay, so I've got knight takes on knight f6. What is both rooks? Every, everything is on f7. <laughs> One, two, three, four. F7. This looks like an f7 potential disaster. Okay, if he does rook d7, knight d7, I'm forking queen and rook. All of a sudden, I'm excited by this <laughs> position. If I'm forking queen and rook, okay, I think I have to take. There's nothing. Okay, I'm the exchange up. Uh, I'll go back to f3 on bishop d4. I want to play c3. He let me. Okay, what do I want to do now? Why don't I win h4 there? No, I've just dropped e e4. Don't panic. Okay, I can win c5. We win c5. Um. Okay, or e5. If he takes this queen f7, let's just get this pawn. That's queen d8, which doesn't do much. Maybe queen g5. Does that win the bishop? Okay, it looks good. So king h2, cozy king. Okay, cooking gas. <laughs> cooking with gas. <clears throat> Elephant or Sleeman or. I can't play the Sleeman, it generally loses. What is this? Oh, it's played a tactical line. I don't know what this is. What is C3? I hope it's not some genius going on here. Oh, C3. I one idea would have been Queen A4 to win. Okay, what's this? Can I keep the F file safe? Queen H5 threatening mate. I'll do something about that. Queen D5 threatens mate. Do something about that. So far, so good. Okay. Getting a bit of development free of charge. In fact, Bishop H2 here for Knight G4 is fun. I think King G7 to keep. Oh, Queen H6, Queen G7. He's got D3 for Queen H6. I'll stop that. What about um Okay, so knight g4, king g7, okay. 
So knight g4, queen e5, this is f4 all the time. So what about, okay, I'm on that. So what about knight g4 here? What about h4 for rook h5? Or if queen g5, queen e5. Okay, queen e5. I have g3, h4. So hopefully that's pretty cool. Discovering the check. Can I just sack a rook to get the queen? No, I don't need to sack a rook. Couldn't I just play queen h5? So he takes, it's not check. I uh, take, takes his on f6. Um, he's on f6. Why is it still tricky? Why is this position still tricky? What about bishop c5 here? Now he's got bishop e3. Ah, okay. Uh, try and keep things together. All right, if it takes queen c5. Then what? Now surely, surely he's in trouble. Clearly he's in trouble. Oh no, I've just plundered the rook over there. Okay, okay. Oh, he hasn't gone for that rook. Okay. If I double rooks to avoid losing the rest of the pieces. Double rooks on the seventh. Okay. I think I can manage it from here just about. Okay. Well, I'm leading leading the pack at the moment. So seventy three have entered now. So for the moment temporarily leading the pack with thirty minutes to go. So I think I'll play B3. Surprise weapon of the torment. F4 is a pawn sack. Okay. Can I just open up the center here? Is black overextending? Is it overextended? Have I got D takes, winning a key center pawn, maybe. In fact, f5 seals that fate of the e pawn. Um, right, okay, that's a good point. So that's annoying. Uh, give back some material. Oh, rook d3 is good for winning material. Whoops. a3? What would you do on a3? Okay. My rooks are connected. c5 is a bit loose. He protects that. Have I got bishop f6 on knight e7? This knight f6 would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Okay, well, just knight f6 here. That gives me h8 and d8 as a fork. So h8 and d8, rook d8. That's a good one. It's a cracker. <clears throat> I hope there's no major checks. Bishop h5, well, not a big deal to take it. Okay, where's the light going? Um, <laughs> no! Okay. So this guy white is uh, is doing well. One, two, four. Two, three, seven, nine. Hobby chess. Uh, gone into a perk. Let's try and distract from a normal perk plan I think I have already 
try and open up the center. Oh, what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? He's giving me a free center pawn. Is he going to take care? Give me c4 for a knight to get the b file. His bishop and battery is not in place. For getting rid of my bishop. Get this b file going. Looks pretty ripe for b file attack. Um, so how do I, if it's that easy, how do I do this? Get rid of this. Maybe it's a defensive bishop. You could argue. Try and play for e5. Get rid of the defensive bishop. I'll sack the exchange here. Is that necessary? Otherwise I'm going to get torn to shreds on the g file. Oh, what have I done? Was that fatal? Can I get the queens off? Have I lost the plot here? Or I didn't lose a piece or anything just yet. So bishop f5 or queen d7. I go on h3 with that battery. So he plays knight f2, I'll play bishop f5. What about queen d2 here? Threatening queen c1. Knight was queen b2. Principal threat queen c1. Cool. Okay. Use of the d file there, unexpected. 2016. Let's play ready. Uh, why did I play the Reti? I'm regretting it now. Oh, I don't know why I play this stuff. Oh, it's okay now. I like the position. I get a nice space advantage off that. So knight c3 and then e4. Nice pawn sack. Like a Dutch defense has been played. It's nice to have a different score of uh, not resign the game. Uh, did I double? So e5. It's looking even tastier. Bishop g5, d6. Where does the queen go? So e5 is a bit loose. So anything better than what is knight d6? Knight d6 threatens bishop and queen. I'm almost mating the queen. Almost. This diagonal is going to be sensitive. If I take here, take there, take there, this on the queen. All right, battery. Ah, oh, what about bishop f6? Oh, missed the battery. Okay, I'll weaken the king with that. A three queen c three. A three. Hold this for a sec. Then a three. And d six. To stop knight c seven. Knight goes there. D six. Then queen c three. I'm running e six e seven. Blockade, so I'm threatening knight g5. Right, try and get maybe the bishop going to c4. Get rid of this blockade. Okay, protect. Uh, now b4, I'll be on c5. Okay, centralization, mass centralization. Okay, 
I'll use this H file. Right. I'll win this pawn. What about rook a7? I'm just keeping. Just queen d5, just get rid of the queens here. Get rid of the queens. Otherwise, e6, maybe. No, it's, it's protecting f5. Okay, he had enough there. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure I want draw, particularly. Especially with his unusual opening. What is this? What is this? It's giving me the center. I'll get a knight there. Knight c3 is tasty. Knight e3 potentially. Okay, there's a lot of juicy stuff here to work with. Uh, so how? C4. Knight c3. C4 sort of thematic in a way in reverse King's Engine. Uh, this Brooks loose. What about Rook B8 or Knight B4 here? So I'm on D3, I'm on C2, I'm on the Rook. D3 wins Bishop, doesn't it? Where does the queen go? Then I'll play D. No, I don't play D3. Uh, okay, time to play Coke. Oh, it's moved. Okay. What about Queen? Oh, queen B2, is that better? No, no, no. Knight B2. Original plan. There's a check. Take on C2 here. Protecting. B2. Oh! I might go for the mate on F2. Mate on F2 and G2. Don't mind getting the queens off there. He's going to play bishop C4. No, there's no bishop C4. Can I drag this pawn to D2? D1. Pawn's crashing through, surely. Now the rook's crashing through. What about e4 and bishop d4? That would be on f2. I could take that one. Is he going for a stalemate now? Surely. Ah, okay. He's had enough. Okay. Uh, 19 minutes to go. Carnage so far tonight. Carnage. Okay, I don't want double pawns. I don't want bishop h6. Uh, he's going to play e5. Can I get away with that? No, I can't get away with that. I've just blundered. He's got bishop e5. Have we got knight h5? He's got bishop e5. Whoa, bishop e5. Ah. Uh, Uh, another pawn bites the dust if he wants. On c7. I'm in trouble. Okay, he didn't take the c7 one. I have to try and block up g4 and h5. Okay, so knight g4. Can I take this bishop? Can I take on e5? What about b5, b4? Get this diagonal. Is it worth taking that? I'm taking on e5. I think I will take that just in case. Uh, what about c4? Oh, hang on. All these pieces are in pre now. Like g4. Uh, try and chase this stuff back. 
I don't know what I'm doing now. Hang on, hang on, there's Queen E5. What is he giving me Queen E5 for? This is a 22 33 giving me Queen E5. There's Knight G5 if he wants. Takes, takes the Queen, take. That's interesting. Uh, can I play a6 to just dislodge and then taking on c3? Ah, well, here. Uh, so not, I've got knight f4 now. I've got bc on the cards. Knight f4. That gives me g2. Also, d4 is pretty tasty. Um, what did I just do that for? That's asking for trouble. Okay, I've got rook f6. He's got rook h6. Ow! Oh, is it bishop e3? Okay, okay, no panic. Okay, a4, b3. Come down the a file. That's not really that convincing, that pawn sack. Ah! Uh, maybe. It's a bit short on time. Pre move time almost. Bishop c3, there's rook b3. Can I get my king crawling up without getting mated? Over here? So b3, b2. I've got b2 on the cards, that looks dangerous for rook here. Queening. Okay, 205. I'm only narrowly ahead of we. After all that, I think Nimza lost, and sometimes probably sidesteps. Bit of theory. Usefully, cause a panic reaction like that. I don't know. What is this? Okay. So, okay, is he winning e5? Is really winning in e5 or kick the pieces away from e5? Nope. Okay, is he winning some material here? Oh, there's queen f6. There's queen f2. Oh, he has got knight e5 now. He didn't go for it. He had knight e5 there. Am I still in a dangerous position here? Bishop g4. Yes. Maybe king over here or not. Well, I think I'll protect F two. Uh Knight E four is the defensive measure. No, not needed. Let's put the bishop here. Put the other one on e1. So I want to play rook e7, bishop e5, bishop g7. Plan bishop e5. That's that friend's mate. This wins material. Hmm. Okay. I think I can make it from here. Okay. 
Oh, we. I think I'll just offer a draw against this guy because I'm in, in the lead. He's not going to accept the draw, is he? I'm wondering. No, let's not be a chicken. Come on then. <laughs> this could waste. If it's going to waste my time, it will waste his. So, so what? I think he's massacred me a few times in the past. Um, dangerous. Danger level very high on this game. I, I suspect. So far, his moves look very good. He's using a bit of time there. All right, not so worried now. Because, I don't know, maybe I should be. That's a nice pin anyway, it was. Uh, Yeah, offer a draw here. <laughs> Maybe he's not, he's not having it. Right, I thought I've equalised anyway. So bishop f3, h5, h4. What about these light squares? Oh, what about f7? He's going to probe f7, isn't he? Am I going to be doomed because of f7 because of bishop h5? Oh. No, not the old F7. <laughs> oh, a draw here? <laughs> Are you sure you want to offer a draw? No, I'm going to forfeit if I offer another draw. <laughs> oh, he's won F7! <laughs> oh, Muppets! <laughs> oh, now I've got severe losing chances. Oh, dear, oh dear. Can I play for a4? It was only a double pawn. Ah, oh, this is going to be long and painful, isn't it? This game. Ah. Ah. Okay, I don't want any entry points for the king. Where does my king belong? He can't win that pawn with his bishop, nor that one. I think my king needs to charge somewhere without allowing. Okay, my bishop can go to b3 here. The right circumstances. He plays f4. No, no, no. What have I done? What have I done? I keep losing key pawns. He's going to make me with, soon with bishop e4. No, he's won another pawn with bishop e4. Oh, come on. He's got a winning position here with f5. Oh, time to resign, I think. Oh well. <laughs> if if I he's got e seven and bishop f seven, nasty. Ah, oh, some end game real blunders there. Okay, can I do this? Or is he going to win a pawn? I can swing the knight over. So knight g3 to h5. Would that be a nice attack? On knight h5. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Because knight h5 threatening knight f6 and queen g3 and queen g7. 
I have king h8, knight f6. That's the best bet. Queen e7. I have to move my knight back. What about knight g4 to e5? Or f5 here? Because my knight. Well, maybe f6 now. Let's kill the knight. Wait, knight h6? No. play queen f5 without losing the knight you could play h5 queen f5 keep things blocked for a moment okay if I get to play queen h4 even if h5 queen h4 if queen d6 queen h4 if queen e8 queen h4 and then rook f5. Interesting. Okay. That looks just the exchange up, so I just play rook h1, rook h4. What about rook h5? Please rook g6. Rook h5, rook f6, king e2. Now he wins the rook. Then what about rook h4 as an improvement? I can play it here anyway. Was well, rook h6 as an improvement to stop rook g6? White is on 250. Someone's on 250 with five minutes to go. Has my king got any? There's no entry point. Don't tell me it's going to be a fortress draw. Uh, king g no king g3, and then well just keep keep the files open. A pawn. Queening. Okay, so three position three at the moment. Five minutes to go. I think this calls for urgent elephant gambit. Oh, that's that's helpful. Okay. Um I think B three was good last time. No, I'm not no, I think I'm confusing him with someone else. Maybe. Uh Okay, I'm threatened to win the bishop with C five. Can I break open over here? Sort of reverse French? G4, is that too risky for G5? I'll take G5, this large central control. Knight H5, F4. That gives me Bishop E2, that Knight's a target. Knight F5 on E3 though. Hmm. Yeah, knight f5 is a tactic here. What about bishop h3 instead? That gives me bishop g4. Without knight f5, I can take an attack on h5. Thanks very much. Okay. What's this tactic? Can I play knight f1? Um, support it, I guess. I'll protect the rook. The rook will be protecting h5. Uh, what about a3 at some point here? Just to unpin. Maybe c5. Make sure there's no major. What's this? That looks like mad panic. Bishop g6 is also threatened to win another piece. Right, there's a check in d2, it's pretty harmless. Oh, it's not winning another piece. Queen g4. Is that possible? Oh, bishop e1 wins the rook. Whoops. Getting a bit complacent there. Bishop e1 check wins this rook. 
Not anymore. Right, let's give me the F file to play with. Oh, I'll take this guy. Come back to the F file. Get these knights into play. That's okay. Where's the queen going? I'll stop it going to uh, B3. What about rook f6? That would have been good for a laugh, just winning another piece. <clears throat> I can threaten mate. Why not? Also, knight f5 is looking good. Um, where is he going? What is he doing? Uh, can I get anything going here? I don't know how to finish this off, that's the worrying thing. Can I just take on f8 without getting mated? My d knight controls d4. I just take on f8. I'm going to mate with queen c4 if I'm not careful. I don't think there's a mate. I hope not. This is going to be embarrassing if it is. Alright, 47 seconds to go. Can I try for a quick mate? Oh, I think he's in the tournament. He's not going to move. Uh, so 27 seconds. It's on the page. I just wanted to show you. 20 seconds. I think I might have come second. 4,500. That's a lot of qubits. Okay. That was good fun. <laughs> uh, okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, well done to point. Okay. Thanks very much. Comments or questions on YouTube? <laughs>